everybody and welcome back to the WHG Pulse channel. To start with, I'm sorry there hasn't been an episode so far this week, but to make up for it, you're having a double upload today and very possibly I might stream. That is a big might. Okay, that is a big might. But it doesn't matter, we've got double uploads today, one going up now at 12, the other going up at 6 like per usual. In this epi in today, at least, well, in this episode specifically, we're going to be working through December, where we're going to be playing three games in Simming 4. We'll be playing Newcastle, Sheffield United, and Southampton, while Simming, Villa, Palace, Watford, and Burnley. It's going to be a tough month, but obviously the first episode, or the first game of this episode is going to be a played game, but there are some few emails I do need to go look through. This is currently what the Youth Academy is set up as. So we've got Bradley Hughes, a 7288 rated goalkeeper. We've got Patrick Lewis, who looks very good. We've got Max Lewis, who looks okay. We've got Tyler Harris, who I'm actually going to get rid of. We've got Callum Davis, who looks okay. We've got Ewan Mason, who looks okay. We've got Harrison Lee, again, who looks okay. Charlie Baker, okay. Gava Lavan, okay. They all look okay, is what we are doing. We've got we've got a young little winger here who could be something decent. I'm very excited to see how uh, Mason grows, Lewis grows, and Bradley Hughes grow. Also, uh, obviously, Roberto wants to leave. That is fine by me. I just can't put him on the transfer list yet because, as you already know, we signed him in the summer, so I can't sell him. But... There has been a transfer story that has come out in the recent days, well, since the last episode. Obviously, you can see, we've got all the players on there. But Dimitri Payet has been linked with a move back to West Ham United. Now, <laughs> obviously, he didn't leave the club in the greatest of circumstances. But obviously, he is a very, very, very talented player. For me... As you get older, technical stats never drop, really, because the talent's always going to be there. You just have to look at Soccer Day, the Soccer Aid the other week and just see Roberto Carlos's pass. It's the physical stats that drop. Now, in real life, would I take him back? Yes. On FIFA, will I buy him if West Ham get him? Yes, because it's realism. But only if West Ham buy him in real life, because I'm not buying him for the, for the sake of it. That season he gave us... The last season at Upton Park will be unforgettable for me. Because that, for me, since I've, like, interested. Because I was too young to remember the previous seasons when I was born. But that, for me, whenever I was born, since I've been born, that is the best season we've had. But, that's my detail. Because we've now got a tough game against Newcastle. And that's the starting eleven we are going with. And I will, s excuse me, and I will see you at kick-off. Asawaku. So, Masawaku sees Declan Rice. Declan Rice gets part. Oh, there's Gignac. Doesn't matter, but Babuena. Into Lanzini. Lanzini into... Maxi Gomez with a nice turn. Maxi Gomez! Just past the post. The Uruguayan shot does go. That was... Very close. Very close. But, alas, it doesn't go in. An interesting choice there. They're playing Freddie Woman in goal. But it doesn't matter, because it's still nil-nil. Here's Fabian Shaw. John Joe Shelby. Gignac. Plays into Ki Sun Young. Bad boy and a great defender, but Gignac is built like a brick, apparently. Into Ki Sun Young. Ki Sun Young. Into John Joe Shelby. John Joe Shelby sees Manquillo. Great header out by Fabian Shaw. Declan Rice with the interception. Doesn't quite fall nicely for four nows, though, but Fredericks does win it back. Rice into Maxi Gomez. He's got Felipe Anderson. Who's got Lanzini. Who's got Masuaku. Who's got Anderson. Just past the post. <sighs> Just past the post. That was a well worked goal by way. Fortunately Anderson couldn't quite get it. And again it's close again. It hits the post at the back and hits the net. Side net in. Unfortunately not the side netting in the goal. But still nil nil here at St James's Park. Fabian Chair. All in. And here's Lanzini now. Can West Ham take one of the chances? Because here's Felipe Anderson. Maxi Gomez. Sees Pablo Fornals. 
sees Mamo Lanzini. Mamo Lanzini plays that out to Alpha Masawaku. Masawaku sees Felipe Anderson, tries to get it past the Newcastle right wing back, but doesn't quite get it past. And here's John Joe Shelby now. Into Manquillo. Frederick Almiron, who's got to defend that well, and he does. Declan Rice plays it calmly into Mamo Lanzini, who counter here. Back into Mamo Lanzini. Into Maxi Gomez. Out wide to Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson sees the run of Alpha Masawaku. Masawaku's just going to time, play it into Lanzini, who plays it into Felipe Anderson. This is a good play by West Ham here. Shame they can't take one of the chances, unless they can! Poor ball in in the end, but here's Ryan Fredericks. Lanzini on the edge of the box, thought about the shot. Plays it into Declan Rice. Now here's four nows. Lanzini. Rice. Four nows. Lanzini! Oh! Forces Freddie Woodman to make a good save there. That was well worked by West Ham. But again... Newcastle stand strongly, and Newcastle, and well, no, and West Ham can't quite get a chance. But we do have a corner here. Anderson's going to whip the ball in. It's into Maxi Gomez at the near post. Again, can't quite fall for him. But here's Philippe Anderson now. Philippe Anderson into Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks into Declan Rice. Declan Rice out to Arthur Masuaku. Here's Lanzini now. Tries to outmuscle Keeseng Young, and the ball and the chance does leave. But for Ryan Fredericks, picks the ball up here. Here's Declan Rice. Poor pass by Declan Rice there. What are we going to do? It? Oh, Masawaku in the set. Brilliantly there. Here's Declan Rice. Lanzini. Four nows. He's going to have a strike. It was worth an opportunity in the end. And if you're wondering why I'm only showing us highlights right now, it's because Newcastle can got, cannot get near our goal. <laughs> That's the only reason why you have only seen West Ham highlights so far. But, knowing me, that's going to come by... Come back to bite me in the ass, but if Newcastle keep passing the ball like that, we hopefully could try and nick one at a goal before half time here. Because here's Anderson, stayed on side. Anderson with a bit of trickery. Ball in, Masuaku. That wasn't Masuaku. What am I on about? That was Maxi Gomez. But here's Declan Rice into Pablo Fornals now. Pablo Fornals trying to get away from John Joe Shelby. Done well. Can't try, still trying to work a space for a shot. He does. It doesn't quite fall to Maxi Gomez, the rebound. And I believe it's going to be 0 0 at half time. Babuena can just clear this up or not. And it is nil nil. Hopefully Newcastle won't and we can keep a clean sheet. But here's John Joe Shelby now. Into Miguel Almiron. Babuena gets drawn to his Paraguayan teammate in real life. Gets get, Wins the ball but gives it straight back again. Masuaku can't win the ball. Here's Almiron. He's got Rondon in the middle. That's John Joe Shelby in a load of space. Don't have no clue what Keeson Young's doing. And Newcastle take the lead. We have been all over them this game. We haven't taken our chances. <sighs> Don't know what we're doing. Oh, my days. We have not been good. We have not been good recently. <sighs> well, it is what it is. And here's Jack Wilshere now. Antonio, can we instantly reply? No, we can't with passing like that. But Bayern wins the ball. Here's Lanzini. Lanzini can't pass. Here's Wilshere. Daniel Sturridge. Oh, I can't quite get away with that. Ron Fredericks. <sighs> ah, my God. Right. Lanzini. Antonio. Oh, my days. Boys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, here's Kennedy now. Played by Declan Rice. And ah, the ball goes out. That we have been poor. We have been dog shite, is what we've been. Babuina now into Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks into Mikael Antonio. Mikael Antonio into Declan Rice. Can we just get an equaliser at least? This is nice play by West Ham. It's Mikael Antonio. It's in. 1 1. Mikael Antonio. That's better. Antonio comes in, a little bit of trickery between Lanzini, Fredericks and Antonio, and that's how we break them down. Does take a deflection, I do believe. I see this again, nice play, Lanzini into Fredericks, Fredericks, great ball into Mikel Antonio, it doesn't take a deflection, it does. But we'll take them, 1-1 one, one in the 85th minute, and there is time. There is time to possibly nick a winner, which would be huge for this. It was coming, but it's taken us 85 minutes to break them down, but here's Kennedy now for Newcastle. Hopefully they can't win it. We can. Because here's Jack Wilshere now. Wilshere plays it across into Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks sees Marlon Z. Like Antonio, if a goal is going to come, it's going to come down this right-hand side for us. 
Here's Kennedy. Lanzini has to do his defensive duties. Fabianski punches that. Okay, that was a bit unorthodox. Lanzini doesn't win the header. Wilshire to Daniel Sturridge. We've just got to hold the... Again here, lads. Declan Rice, and it does finish. 1-1 one, one here at St. James's Park. Well, we're back here. Another set of training to do. We last trained... Who was it? Baker. Yeah, we last trained Baker. So we got to... Alonso, who I thought I got rid of training schedule. But if not, we'll keep Alonso in it. It's perfectly fine by me. There's nothing wrong with keeping Fernando Alonso in the training dr drills. So... But we've got, obviously, two games now against Villa. That will be simmed. And then against... I can't remember who the next game is. Who's the next game against? Well, Crystal Palace. Currently sitting eighth in the table. Which is okay. I mean, five wins, six draws, three losses. I mean, we've just been drawing too much. We'll have a proper look at in-depth at the other leagues and stuff like that at halfway through. But we've got a Villa game here. We'll play on this side because it's a simmed match. Hopefully we can get the win. They haven't been in the best form. Lost two of their last three with 2-2 two -two draw against Everton, which is respectable. Kalinic, Smith, Chester. Nothing's happened in the first 10 minutes. Tuanza Bay does get a booking. Southampton, if you see that in the bottom right-hand corner there. Look at the moment. Nothing's happened so far. It's still nil-nil here at London Stadium. Is anything going to happen or are we going to have a nil-nil draw? Sturridge is on. Antonio's on. Tuanza Bay gets sent off now. That Boys, this is the chance to use this. Come on. We're going to draw nil-nil. We are going to draw nil-nil. So it's a nil draw against Aston Villa in a sim game. Also, we're going to sim Crystal Palace as well. And then we're going to play Sheffield United and Southampton. But Watford is in between them two. We've got press conference here. Most pointless things in the world. Philippe Anderson, your role at the club. That is fine by me. You've probably been our best player this season. We've got Crystal Palace now. We're going to possibly, hopefully, get a win here. But, again, we can hope. But we've got Crystal Palace, same team as normal. That's the side. Let's go sim against Palace now. We're going to sim through these quickly. Okay, they have been in a good run of form. 1-1 one, one draw with Man United, 1-1 one, one draw with Tottenham. 1-0 one, win against Leicester, so they've been in a good form. We haven't really been in good form. Milivojevic missed the pen. That is big. 10th minute. I want to know who gave that away. Because you're getting your ass handed to you. It would be lovely if we could score a goal for a change. But um, we're 1-0 down. Lovely. Ah, oh, Maxi Gomez equalises. Yes. Yes. Can we... we are going to have another draw is the answer to that question. So, three games this episode. Well, no, three games so far this episode. Two simmed, one played, and we've drawn all three. Lovely. Fernando Alonso is uh, being moved, and Claude Maurice is up next to be trained. I mean, he has impressed in the certain games he's come on and played, but the main thing will be against Southampton, where I will play the backup side, but with the issue of Fabianski in goal instead of David Martin. We'll just keep simming. Now we've got Alaphan's transfer broke down. It always does. All right, let's just sim to Sheffield United now. Hopefully, we can get a win here. Don't know why Sheffield United. A win here would put us, well, challenging with Bournemouth Everton. Where I want to finish is in that seventh place, is what I want us to finish in. Loan off for Leandro Aldair from New England. That would be nice if we could get him out, actually. Get him out on loan. I don't think he's in the training schedule, but doesn't matter, son. It doesn't matter. Now, as you can see in the title, oh, Messi wins the Ballon d'Or. Don't know what he's been doing, but, okay. Potential international management jobs. Don't really care unless it's the England job. Canada and Paraguay. I mean, I would be able to manage uh, Fabes, but uh, that's the starting 11 we're going to go with here against Sheffield United. It's, that's just the standard team. Yarmolenko is back and he's going to start. Well, not start. He can. Actually, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Claire Maurice is out. Yarmolenko is going to cut start in the backup side. 
Yeah, Yarmolenko is going to start on the back side. Antonio is going to be out there. Yarmolenko is going to be out here. Actually, no, Yarmolenko is going to start. Oh, I do like to cut in now. Now, Yarmolenko can stay, start out there. Sturridge, Antonio, Wilshire, Snodgrass, Reed, Maripan. Fabianski is going to be put in there for the game against Southampton. I do want to use this backup side and play with it. But... We're just going to have a look. We're not going to play this team against Sheffield United. We're going to play a starting boys against Sheffield United. And I will see you at kickoff. Up front into Billy Sharp now. Here's Oliver Norwood. Good challenge by Pablo Ford as we play it into Ryan Fredericks. If we can get an early goal, that would be lovely. But with passing like that by Ryan, it ain't going to happen. All right, here's Chay Adams, who we were looking at to possibly sign. Ball gets played in. Oh, Sheffield United are knocking it around nicely. Great block. Right, here's Lanzini now, though. Maxi Gomez can't quite get the ball away. Here is Sheffield United now. Here's McGoldrick into Norwood. Great interception by Balbuena. Lanzini has got out muscled by Billy Sharp, but then gives him something back. But the poor pass to Anderson is not good enough. Looks like Sheffield United are setting up with back five at the moment. So, I uh, yeah, I know what they're playing. They're playing the 5 3 2. Che Adams with the strike and Diop with the interception. Well, not the interception, the block there. That could have been interesting because I don't know how Fabianski would have dealt with that. But <sighs> it's still 0 0 here. Haven't started well. And that's straight into the hands of Lucas Fabianski. Here's Diop now into Masuaku. Masawaku tries and gets the run of Marko Arnatovic. Can't quite get enough pace and height on the ball, though. Sheffield United have been all over us here in the starting 16 minutes. Fabianski nearly plays it out from the... Oh, my God, we're trying to play it out from the back. That's not a good idea because here's Billy Sharp. Balled up by Bino with a clearance. That was unorthodox. And Anderson just gets hold it up. For Maxi Gomez can't hold it up. <laughs> Sheffield United are bossing us right now. We are not turning up today. Here's Billy Sharp into Che Adams. Good interception by Babuena. Babuena can't get it out. We win the ball back and then we can't fucking clear it. We are all over the shops here. Here's Stevens. Ball in. And it's over the bar. We can now calm. That was ent entertaining. 24 minutes to the first half. Okay, it's a corner. Ball gets played in. Sheffield United have got space here. Ball gets played in again. Masuaku this time with a header. And now Maxi Gomez can try and break. But we can't again, we can't pass it. What is wrong with our passing today? Oh, my days. But here's Bulldog now. Went to Norwood. Here's Billy Sharp. Billy Sharp with a little bit of trickery into Norwood. Into Fleck. Here's Norwood now. Che Adams. And um, we give away a penalty. <laughs> okay, we have not started this game well at all. We have not started this game at all. We just not turn up. Diop steps in. <sighs> right, come on, Lucas. Fabianski. Against Billy Sharp. I dive right. Is it the post? We've had a let off. We've had a big let off. But now West Ham can counter here with Michael Wadavich. Michael Wadavich keeps driving forward. If that ball is good, it is into Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson into Michael Wadavich. Michael Wadavich out to Ryan Fredericks. This is the first attack of the game. Maxi Gomez loses the ball. And West Ham have a big let off. This has been an entertaining first half here. A very, very, very entertaining first half. Oh, Babuena lands one on him. Here's Declan Rice. Out to Felipe Anderson. Can we actually pass a ball today or go towards a ball today? Like, okay, Anderson into Masawaku. Good little run. Ball in. Doesn't trouble Dean Henderson one bit. This has been a very entertaining first half. I probably left it all in, actually, in all fairness. So, <laughs> there's been too much going on. But especially from Sheffield United's point of view, they've been dominating us. Diop with the clearance. Here's Pablo Fornals. Now, we're just going to calm it down and try and see this out to half time now. Here's Pablo Fornals. Declan Rice. 
Somehow that ball gets to one out of it. And Ryan Fredericks can go now. He sees Lanzini. <laughs> oh, my days. This is just not good. Well, Antonio here. Plays out to Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks. Inside into McCann Antonio. McCann Antonio tries to take the touch past the defender to work a bit of space. But here's more noble. That was worth it. That was worth an attempt. All right, Henderson with the ball out. Diop tries and wins it, but it, alas, not. Antonio. Here's Anderson. Anderson over to Yarmolenko. Got to get it on that left foot. But plays it back to Ryan Fredericks. Antonio can attack it. A bit more curve, and that Antonio was made bread and butter for that. That was close. Oh. Whoever that was out there has sent Masuaka a kipper. Balbuena's one-on-one -on -one with Che Adams. And we're giving the ball away here again. Oh, Declan Rice shoring up. No ball into Antonio. Antonio is going to see the run of Yarmolenko, who's onside. He, yeah, they, they've allowed him to come like left foot. <gasps> nearly. 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 I mean, that was a great shot by Yarmolenko. And was the commentator right? It did skim the cross, but he didn't see the play. Well, that was a shame. But it nearly went in. And Yarmolenko has looked bright since coming on. John Fleck doesn't quite get to that, so it's our throw in. Here's Masawaku now. Masawaku sees Declan Rice. Declan Rice sees Pablo Fornals. Pablo Fornals tries to see uh, Ryan Fredericks. Doesn't quite pass that there, though. Fornals does win it. Across into Mark Noble. Mark Noble. Good challenge. That was meaty. That that was meant with something there by Noble. But it doesn't matter because Sheffield United still have the ball. Here's Neuhaus. Ball gets played in. Babuena doesn't quite clear that very well. Yamalenko with a little bit of trickery. Plays it into Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks sees Pablo Fornaus. Pablo Fornaus. How is that there foul? I'm sorry. Oh, my days. Okay, I'm not going to play. Nope. Last time I did that, I got a touch from Bam because I kicked Luke because I bottled up the full official. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But we're fine. So. Here's Egan. Do up with a great challenge. Noble plays it into Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson sees Pablo four now. He's got nothing on at the moment, so he's just complaining to Antonio who can hold it up. Plays it into Marky Nobes. Nobes sees Anderson. He's got the boy. Mikel Antonio! Oh my god, what a goal! What a goal! That is beautiful! What a ball by Anderson! What a finish by Mikey! Oh my days! We have to see this again! That was beautiful! Noble with the ball out to Anderson, cuts it back on his right foot. What a ball! Well, I thought it was child out there. Look at this! The deftness of touches over Henderson! What a goal! The run to the near post. The flick. Oh my day. That is beautiful. Henderson had no chance over him. And it is 1-0 West Ham United. First half not deservedly. Second half would have been improved but still not the better side. But that is a beautiful finish by Mikel Antonio. But now we've just got to concentrate to see this game out. Before we can keep going on about that Mikel Antonio goal. That, for me so far, that's goal of the season. From, from, from our clubs, if we were doing goal of the season, which, plan ahead, could be happening in FIFA 20. But, that is beautiful. Like, that was deft. Anderson with the drilled ball in, and Antonio with the flick over Henderson. That we've got. Right, we're back on the main screen. We've got a sim game against Watford. And then a played game for the last played game of the episode. Pamela well, Reese was recently the most recent one trained. So we'll train Declan Rice now. <sighs> I still can't go over that Antonio finish. But I'm going to have to. We move on though. So we're currently sitting 7th in the league. Man United do have two games in hand on that slow. Don't know how, but they just have two games in hand. Uh, next game is Watford. Risk of losing two players. Uh, who are they? Who do I need to sign to new contracts? Loan offer for Fortunes. 
Is this the left? This is the young Spanish left back who looks very, very, very good. I thought for a moment that was an actual offer then. Who is it? It's Arn, um, Nazari, and Makassi. They can both piss off. That, I mean. Whew. You know what? Just as we get to Watford game, I'm going to go to Canada to see if the FA Cup has been drawn. Uh, actually, no, we won't. We'll go to the standings here. We'll have a look at FA Cup. Have the round three fixtures been drawn? They have. We are Blackburn. Uh, can we have a look for any potential shocks? I mean, Swansea Tranmere, possibly. Not really at the moment, but Blackburn's going to be a tough game. Loot and Crystal Palace could be interesting. Oh, Derby got Nottingham Forest. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. Uh, Huddersfield Burnley, Millwall Norwich. Oh, my. Bristol City Arsenal could be a shock there. Wickham Man City could be a shock. Portsmouth Southampton, there's a Derby kind of there. Bradford against Leicester. Wimbledon against Chelsea. I mean, they knocked us out in the cup in real life. So you never know. But. We have a sim game against Watford here. What is... Aldair has gone out on loan to New England Revolution for the next MLS season. Which is fine by me. We have a sim game against Watford. Obviously the starting eleven, And we'll sim this against Watford. They've been good run. Draw... Oh, they beat Manchester City. Okay. At the end of this, we will have a look at the league and the leagues around the world and championship and so forth. Uh, just to have an update. And we're 1-0 down. <laughs> oh, my Gomez is equalised though. Oh no, but we are winning 2-1. Come on, let's make this a good episode and not lose a game. Come on. Isaac success equalises. Oh, what a game here. 3-2, Felipe Anderson. Can we see this out now? The front three has scored. And we win the game 3-2. That is lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. But now, we have a game against Southampton. This is going to be a longer episode, purely because there's three played games in this. So, but it's double upload, so you, you get two for the price of one today. We're coming to sit sixth in the league. Manchester United still have two games in hand. Oh, my God, you know. Oh, right, David Martin, stop complaining. Oh, well, hello. I mean, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to take it because it's the England job. Okay. So we now have international management as well. Lovely. Right, let's have a look actually. Right, what are we doing with England? Uh, is there an international break coming up? What's this? Is this qualifying? Europa, Euro okay, so this is for the Euros in 2020. Okay. So we've got Denmark and Wales. Drop down in the comment section down below. Obviously, I won't know for the January month, but I will know by February and stuff like that. Drop me down in the comment section below if you want me to put the England games as a separate thing. So, we'll just have a look what we're currently doing with England. Uh, standings. Didn't mean to go on settings, actually, but we'll go on there. We got Euro qualifiers. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's four games left in the qualifiers. Do you want me to play the qualifiers or not? Do you drop them down in the comment section down below if you want me to or not. I feel like I should. So I'm probably going to. But, yeah, just drop that in the comment section below, down below if you want me to show the England games. If not, I'll just sim the qualifiers and only play the major tournaments. Hopefully this career will go for a good, like, after the next season. We'll have the Euro, so... But we're going to keep playing simming to Southampton. We're going to play the backup side other than David Martin because Fabianski is going to come in that. That's the team we're going to go with. But we do have Scout Reports back, which is lovely. Right, so we've got this monthly Scout Report. So, Cesar Valente, no. Andre Dominguez, no. Emmanuel Aguirre, no. Fabio Boras, no. Fabio Perez, no. They were all tragic. McCall now, Jose Cruz, yes. Enric DJ no. Araba Lopez. Worth a million already. Yes. Esteban Navarro, no. Now on to the England boys. We've got Nicholas, no. Harrison Phillips, no. 
Liam Wilson, yes. Ethan Robinson, no. I want to know what that fucking guy who's worth a million pounds is. Is it this guy? Where's Jose Cruz? This guy. No. Where's the million pound guy? There he is. He's, 70, he's 67 rated already. Jesus, he's being trained the shit out of. Right, I'll do that in between the next episode, though. But, Jesus Christ. But we've still got two games to play. Well, we've got a sim game against Watford. or well, not Watford, Burnley. And we've got a played game against Southampton. That's simming against Southampton. Do I sim these two? Just thinking to get into January, even though we're not going to sign anyone. But this episode is a bit long anyway. You know what? Scratch that. I'm going to sim the Southampton game, and I'm going to sim the Burnley game as well. Southampton are not on a good run of form at all. So what we've got here, I mean, it is risky playing sim games again, but we're fine. We're playing the backup team, so that's always nice. Get them a run out. Was looking forward to using it, but alas, it has been a long episode so far, but 1-0 down. Obviously, we are simming two away games, so the possibility of us winning these are slim. But I fully expect that because it's away games and you never win away games. And we're 2-0 down to Southampton. Lanzini comes on. Zabaleta gets booked. And we lose 2-0 to Southampton. What can you do? Well, I mean, I could have played it and I sh probably should have played it. But at the end of the day... Anyway. And it's a double upload day because you're going to see next episode as well. We've got Rodolfo Gallardo who I'm going to try and loan out as well. And we're going to finish the episode with a sim game against Burnley and then a little report of what's going on around the world. Uh, so we get to Burnley. We've got a transfer for Alonso, which is a loan offer, which is fine. But we've got anyone who I'm still trying to... I'm still trying to sell all of these. Hugel is leaving, though, to go to Stad Rene in the next fucking January. So that's always lovely. We've got a sim game against Burnley now. This time we are going to play the starting team. We go away to Burnley, and let's see what happens here. Obviously, last time we simmed the away game, we lost to Southampton. This is going to put us basically halfway through the series. Chris Wood missed a penalty. Chris Wood. Ryan Fredericks with the equaliser. Hello. Currently, nothing's happening. Nothing. The 1 1 draw. We're time. Again, Royce gets injured. Are we going to lose the two simmed away games? This is going to teach me not to sim away games. Is this is this teaching me something here? Yamalenko equalises though, and it's a 2-2 two -two draw, so we do get away with a point from Turf Moor, which is lovely. But now we're gonna quickly go do an update of where everyone is. Player injured Declan Rice is out for seven weeks. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have only have six hours to reply to this. Actually, no, you're not. Yes, you are. I'm contradicting myself. Right. I need a CDM. If you watch this, it's going to have to be Joanne Jordan, isn't it? Oh, he's going on. He's on loan. No. Oh. Right. I need a CDM. In between the two episodes, I'm going to be searching for CDM, but I did say that we'll have a look at what's happening currently. Right. Uh, in the league update, uh, Liverpool are winning it. On 39, we have Chelsea and Tottenham. Manchester City are the top six of the top six. We're still in that battle for th uh, seventh. Who's in the relegation zone? We've got Newcastle, Sheffield United and Wolves. Uh, Carabao Cup. You've obviously seen the FA Cup this episode. The Carabao Cup semi-finals are Chelsea versus Crystal Palace and Manchester City versus Leeds. In the Champions League so far, we have got Atletico versus Inter, Moscow, I'm not going to go through them all, you can just see what's happening, Chelsea, Porto, Galatasaray, Bayern, stuff like that in the Europa League in the round of 32, Barcelona, okay, um, we've got these, we've got Arsenal, Monaco, pause it if you want to have a look, PSG didn't get out of their group, interesting, neither did Man United, neither did Real Madrid, so that's going to be an interesting Europa League, luckily we're not in it. Uh, playing quads group. We'll go have a look at the other leagues around the world at this current point. Obviously, the top five ones, as in League Un. See who's doing one of the championship right now. Leeds, Fulham are in the automatic with Reading, Forest, West Brom, and Stoke in the playoffs. Getting relegated so far are Hull, Mill, and Luton. Uh, in League U, uh, PSG top. Bundesliga, Dortmund atop. 
Uh, Cilia. Napoli atop. Uh, for you Scottish out there. Rangers atop of Scotland. And then La Liga Santander. Atletico Madrid are top. Now that brings us to the end of the episode of the first episode today. In the intermittence of me recording this episode and next episode. Uh, I'll be going to look for a new CDM to replace Declan Rice for two months. It's more likely going to be a loan deal. But again, that's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Drop it in the comment section below, down below about England if you want to see the games. And as always, I will catch you later.